Hello, Hello everybody. Mac wanted to be here for the intro. Do, 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 do. Oh. Come on. Sit right there. Stop squirming. He's just gonna say so. <sighs> well, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, <laughs> this is Mac. Well, Mac's top of his head. Uh, Mac, say hello. If you're new here, every Wednesday and Friday we tell spooky stories, crazy stories, haunted stories, ghost stories, weird stories, murders, what else, whatever, about New Orleans. Um, however, we also do unboxings, and today we are unboxing March Boxy Lux, and apparently Mac is joining us. Actually, no, he's not. He's just here for the intro. Do y'all notice anything different, by the way? Anything? Hmm. Okay. Just thought I'd drop that in. All right, guys. So, yes, as I stated a second ago, we are unboxing March Boxy Lux. Um, I had full intentions to do a bleep bloop blooper reel um but as i was filming this video became one massive blooper <laughs> um how so i do want to go ahead and say this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because it is boxy lux there actually is a lot of items in this box uh and i use almost all of them so take a seat and grab a snack um at this channel, we drink coffee. I don't care what you drink, but I drink coffee and a lot of it. So, hi, puppy. So judgmental. Really wish y'all could see his face right now. He's like, Are you done talking? Can we go watch TV, please? I want to be lazy. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Enjoy this one massive blooper reel. Okay. So we're here. I get some baby hairs that don't want to be tamed, and that's okay. And we are unboxing Boxy Lux for March 2020. Y'all, I'm really hoping. So, I'm not gonna lie. So, I totally unboxed it when I first got it, but y'all, I was tipsy. I do know that there were some complexion products in here, but there were no eye products. So, or I mean, eye brow, brow, brow products. So, I went ahead and I did my brows. Okay, this box is freaking huge. Okay, so the theme this month is lucky. And the very first thing when we open the box is the Barbarella? Barbarella? I don't know how to pronounce it. It is by B Beauty London and is a boxy exclusive. It retails for $50 and we are gonna try it out today. But this color story, y'all, it says, meet the black book of color with subtle shades to straight up blast color, jet milled pigments deliver intense, saturated, light reflective shades with gorgeous textures, plus long lasting and non-creasing silky velvety finishes. I'm actually very excited to try this. The shades look really pretty. So. I love when it's boxes or like eyeshadow palettes like this where it's not like one particular color story. It's a little bit of a variety because I feel like when I get one color story, I feel like it's always the same colors. Oh well. Next. Ooh. Okay, we have the 
A M N H. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to mess it up. Skincare Kiss the Stars 24 Karat Gold Lip Plumping Mask. Okay, so we can actually try this while we're just sitting here. Um, 24 Karat Gold Biodegradable Glitter Stars Lip Plumping Mask. Will moisturize and nourish your lips. Expect a tingling sensation and softer kissable lips. Okay, so yeah, we can do this now. So it's, ooh, you put it on. And then you wash it off. We don't have makeup on yet, so it works. But it's a little bit tingly. I feel like this would be like the perfect like girl's night mask. So far, I actually kind of feel like this might be like a perfect girl's night box. Especially going by the next thing I'm about to say. Um, and that retails for $42. Wow. It is a little tingly. Next up, we have, I don't know. What's so new? Sonage. Sonage. Frozy Ice Globes. A facial massager. Ew. Oh, it don't taste good. Whoops. It's not edible. It doesn't say it's edible. So that's, that's user error here guys um so they stimulate blood circulation help depuff the face and eye area reduce breakouts shrink pores and minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles um that's like a known thing when you're using cold but i want to take them out that's what they look like do you freeze them first oh okay yeah you put them in the fridge about 15 minutes before you're ready to use them yeah, like I feel like this perfect girls' night box so far. And those retail for sixty dollars. Damn, sixty dollars. All right, next we have. Oh my gosh, I saw this in a spoiler, and I was really hoping I'd get it. This is the Rose Plus Quartz Hair Mask. It retails for thirty-one dollars. Your touchstone of hair products, the Rose Plus Quartz Hair Mask, suits a spectrum of needs. With 0% sulfate, sodium chlorides, parabens, PEGs, or phthalates, it suits all hair types, safer chemical processes, vegan, and certified cruelty-free, and made with love in the United States. Mmm. Smells very rosy. Actually, I'm very excited for this. I love hair masks. And I, can, I love hair masks. I love them. This has been a really good box. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like I haven't, I've never had like a bad boxy lux ever. I'm wipe this off. Do our lips, lip, <laughs> lips, do our lips look plumper? Y'all, I'm gonna put a, a blooper reel in this. This is ridiculous. It did tingle, I'm not gonna lie, it did tingle. Okay, next. Oh. Uh, I did know about this because I had to pick my shade. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. Um, I am shade 120, if you're curious. Uh, long wearing, light as air foundation gives skin an intensely smooth, instantly, I'm sorry. Instantly smooth. Pore diffuse, shine free finish. Oil free formula is made with climate adaptive technology. That's what I'm excited for. That's resistant to sweat and humidity and won't clog your pores. So, wherever you are, it's going to work on your skin. I'm very excited for this. You have no idea. I see Dominique Cosmetics. Uh, creamy, fill and define. Oh, that, the Fenty retails for 36 we have a lip liner from Dominique Cosmetics that retails for 18 and it's like right up my alley shade wise. Uh, define and fill your lips with this unique teardrop shaped lip liner. Narrow at the tip for precision and wider at the bottom to fill. Uh, infused with clean good for you ingredients like vitamin E to protect from free radicals, boost circulation and smooth fine lines, and keep lips pillowy soft. The silky, long-lasting demi nat finish is so light and breathable you'll forget you're wearing it. 
Heck yes. And next we have the Kat Von D Lock It Edge Foundation Brush. High performance foundation brush. Features an original custom design. I'm trying to get it open. Uh, with a sculpted shape that conforms to the curves and contours of your face. Perfectly tapered, symmetrical bristles. What is going on in here? Lord. Um, allow you to reach every corner. precise even blending. Don't worry, I got it. Yeah, we're definitely putting bloopers in this. Oh, no, not again. Whew. Whew, I was worried I was going to have to fight with the box. And this is what she looked. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Excited to try that. And that retails for $34. On the last. Is that it? Okay, yeah. And last but not least, and this actually goes with this Skincare Saturdays video. This is the Gula Recipe Plum and Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Um, concentrated formula is your go-to serum for plump, radiant skin. Water, silky water gel. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, water gel serum features a unique blend of three types of plum, hyaluronic acid, and vegan collagen formula contains five weights of hyaluronic acid to target different layers of the skin for deep hydration. Mm, it smells good. So I'm not going to lie. I love glow recipe. I love that everything is like themed. It looks like a little butt. It looks like a little butt. Okay. I know it's supposed to be a plum, but it looks like a butt. That actually goes with Skincare Saturday's video. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. So, we are not going to try everything, obviously. Um, we have some stuff we can't try. Like the hair mask. I can't try the hair mask right now. I just got a blowout. Just got my hair done. Um, we're not going to try the skincare. I'm actually going to save that for Skincare Saturday. And we'll try the massagers on skincare Saturday too. But we can try the foundation. All right, let's get our stuff. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so we're gonna try the foundation with the brush, but I have Moisten's, a beauty blender. I'm tired. <laughs> um, and then we are gonna use, mm, like our tried and trues for this. I do actually really like that lip mask. I don't know if my lips look plumper, but they definitely feel softer. So we have the foundation, we have blush. The only thing I don't have in front of me is highlighter and that's fine because I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna use one of the shades from the palette. So, 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 so. We're gonna shake, 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 shake. Okay, I'm done. I'm okay. Totally okay. I'm just gonna pump some on the back of my hand. I went with three pumps. And I just take the brushy brush. I don't use brushes, so bear with me. I don't think that's my shape. Ooh. Have I gotten whiter? Is that possible? Is it possible for a person to get whiter? And how do you use a brush? No. I'm over here looking like Casper the bitchy ghost. Damn. This is, this is user error. This is totally not a box of charm. This is why I don't use brushes. I don't know what I'm doing. That's, no, this is not okay. The foundation, like, I can make the shade work. That's not an issue. It's the brush that I can't figure out. So, here's what we're going to do. Casper 
you're the bitch ghost, the bitchiest ghost you ever saw. Did it dry already? Hot damn, okay. Is it getting whiter the more I apply? What is happening in my eye? Okay, we're, we're moving and we're grooving. The coverage is nice. Very Casper like. This was totally my fault. I should have gone to Sephora before. So what I did was I used a fine nation. Um, it's a foundation matcher. Clearly. Up here looking I mean I'm not gonna have to highlight. Cause I'm highlighted already. The whole face is. It's okay. Oh, honestly, I almost prefer my foundation be too light than too dark. Too light is actually easier to fix sometimes. Again, totally user error. No one's fault but mine. <laughs> and yes, it does look this light in person too. Don't worry. Y'all, my concealer's darker than my face. aggravating it's okay it's okay so what I'm actually gonna do for contour um, because I feel like this might backfire if I go in with my normal contour so what I'm gonna do this is one big blooper and I've done this before actually my foundations too light it happens it's really not the worst thing in the world so I'm going to take a foundation that's too dark. Maybe this brush will come in handy now. This just turned into Tip Wednesday. I have actually done this a few times with my foundations, I'm not going to lie. I've taken a shade, like my foundation is, like this is honestly, unfortunately, like this is my winter shade. Yes, y'all, I'm that pasty. Leave me alone. It's not necessary to pick on the pasty person. So I'll take like my summer shade foundation because it's the same undertone and I'll contour with that. See, I sometimes have useful tips and tricks. Oddly enough, these two are working really well together. I'm very surprised because the wet and wild usually I don't like to work with nobody. I actually really do like this brush for contouring in all seriousness. Why did that work out so well? I love it. Okay. All right. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm so clever. I scare myself. Well, on the bright side, we don't have to contour now. Just kind of go in with some setting batter, though. <sighs> Shoot. I set my, started setting my face before the putty blush. Um, it's not ideal to do it over setting powder, but I have discovered it works. But this finish on this foundation, even like when with them mixed together is freaking stunning. Y'all, I've never tried, and it like, Savage included, something by Rihanna I don't like. Like I've never tried anything by her I don't like. You know, we might actually be able to get away with not bronzing. And not just on camera, like, it looks good. Why? So I've done, like I said, like, I've done this trick before when my foundation is too light. Just go in with my summer shade as contour. And it's not that it hasn't worked in the past, because it totally has. Just not this good. I do wish I did a different primer, though. It's about the only issue I have so far, and that's not even really an issue. All right, let's go with some blushy blush. We need a brushy brush. So actually, when I use the putty blush, I have actually, I, said, I just said actually a lot. Just said actually way more than I needed to. Yeah, I'm not gonna bronze. Anyway, I'm living for this right now. Uh, but actually really, do one big blooper. And I'm sitting here going, yeah, I'm totally gonna make a blooper section for this. This video is one big freaking blooper. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. 
I'm trolling myself. Anyway, so I have been going in with a highlighting brush for this blush and just, yeah, I really don't think we're gonna need a bronze because this is actually coming together beautifully. But the reason I like using a highlighting brush for it is A, the pot is really tiny. And B, like just the way a highlighting brush is tapered, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it comes out prettier when I use a highlighting brush than when I use a blush brush. Cause like a highlighting brush is more flowy and blush brushes tend to be a little more densely packed. I am living my very best life right now. Why does this look so freaking good? Okay. Where'd the lip liner? Oh, I dropped it like I've dropped everything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the lip liner on. By the way, this is the shade Crush. very interesting okay so I'm gonna be honest I think the tip is gonna take some getting used to huh that's what she said I love this shade I love the formula actually it went on so with such ease, like it just literally just whoop, one swipe, like you saw, one swipe, it was on. So let's play in our new palette. Dude, we're like breezing through this video. And to anyone that's gonna feel the urge to ask, no, I'm not drunk, I'm very much sober, I'm just having a really, really good day. And good day to you. We're gonna put on some primer. We're gonna use the Pony Eye Primer in cream. I'm just gonna buff that on. So I think my energy today is partially because um, I'm presently operating on like no sleep. And it's because I had to go get my hair done. I literally just got home from getting my hair done. Um, and I had to be there for 10, but I also had to do laundry because bless my husband's heart, he had to work today. And he had no clean chef clothes. So I woke up at like 6 a.m. to do laundry and it is currently 8 p.m. And I literally like sitting down and starting to film this, was when I got home. I'm ready for my close up. Actually, no, I'm not. Is there a color I can use for highlight in here? Ooh, I can actually use all three. I like this middle one though. Okay, so this is the shade right here. This one. Why is all of it, why is everything working out in my favor right now? I'm just not used to it. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, all right, so let's start with the shade. I've already primed our eyes. This is the shade Oliver. Now I did do a, a cream base. So if certain shades don't show up a hundred percent, I'm not like this shade. Uh, it's like a tannish shade, like a cream shade. So I'm not expecting it to show up flawlessly or believe it or not, true to color because Using a cream base, it really does alter the shade. Why does that eyeshadow look so good as a highlight? 
Um, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to, like, everything. Especially after the two weeks that I've had. Like, I'm just not used to things going in my favor. Maybe it's the hair. But anyway, so when you use a cream base, like, it is going to slightly alter the shade that you lay down. Just be warned. All right. Well, I mean, the next matte we really have to work with is this one. So as far as, like, mattes go, this is not my favorite palette. And I can tell it's not going to be my favorite palette because there's five. There's, like, a khaki. I'll show you. There's a cream, a khaki color, a blue color, a black, and this dark brown. Well, medium brown. So, like, matte-wise... And, like, I mean, you, you got some transition colors you can work with. I'm not, especially for the shades that are in the palette. Like, it works. But if you're looking for, like, a super matte palette that has, like, buku matte shades for you to use, this is not it, honey. But it, so far, I'm really enjoying it, actually. blending nicely. The pigment is surprisingly pretty good. Um, I've never heard of this brand. I mean, I've never heard of a lot of brands, but I've never heard of this particular brand. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how nicely the pigment is going in or how nice the pigment is. Words are so breaking hard. I don't really know what kind of look. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. I don't really know what kind of look we're going for. We're just kind of going. And we're just going to keep slamming and slamming and slamming and slamming. I really don't know why this is actually working out for me. Just not used to it. All right, do my lower lash line. Okay. I just realized I did not pull a flat brush down. I don't know what's with me, but I feel like with lighter hair, I need to do darker makeup. And I have been feeling like that since I started taking my hair light. I just feel like darker makeup works with like my eye color. So be forewarned. Dark colors are taking up a presence. Okay. What do we want now? It's popping in our corner. Hi, Lane. We're going to go one. Okay, so we did this one for our actual highlight on our face. So I want to do this one. Because I couldn't decide, decide between the two. All right, I'm going to pop on eyeliner, setting spray, and mascara. And we'll be right back to review the box. <gasps> and we're back. All right, so I felt like it wasn't crunchy enough. So, we have a little more crunch to my eyeshadow look. All right, let's review. So, there are three things. I don't think it would be fair to review, but I'm gonna give my input anyway. Because I can. Um, actually, all three I'm really excited to try in all seriousness. This smells like heaven in a jar, the hair mask. Uh, so I cannot wait to try that when it's time to wash my hair again. And it's not time, because I just did it. It just got done, <gasps> today. Uh, well, as I'm filming. 
and the glow recipe honestly there's never been anything from glow recipe i've tried that i haven't liked their watermelon line is to die for my mom swears by the banana souffle um and then i've tried the i've tried a sample of the avocado and i mean there's just been never ever been a thing, single thing from glow recipe i haven't liked so I am very excited to try this. And then y'all know how I feel about skincare tools. So, obviously I'm excited to try that. But like, honestly, let's see. So we have the face, the, the lip mask. That's probably the only thing I could have done without. And I'm probably gonna give it to my mom because A, I don't use lip plumping ingredients. I do feel like it gave it like some nice hydration. Um, I don't really feel like my lips got plumped, but I didn't leave it on that long. But I think it's adorable. I will say that. I do think it is adorable. So I almost kind of want to keep it because it's cute. But I want to give it to her because she'll use it. You know what I mean? I gotta think about it. Uh, eyeshadow palette. I actually really like it. And I hate that I like it. I want that one shade that I use as a highlighter on its own. Just look at that. Anyway, um, I actually do really like it. The pigment was nice. It blended nicely the colors are nice I like the color story I like that there's pops of colors but I also really enjoy the fact that it is a more in the darker side like yes it has neutrals yes it has colors but I feel like it's more leaning towards a smoke helping you create smoky eyes and I do really enjoy that uh, the lip liner honestly I think this is the best lip liner I've ever tried like it went on so easily it was very pigmented it I, I can't say if it's gonna last all day because I throw on a little bit of gloss just to add a little something but this is my new nude and it's not even like a nude it's like a brown but I, I want it and I, I want all of them I want all of them um the brush I already put that up I'm that's probably the only thing I'm not a fan of but that's because I'm not a fan of foundation brushes um I did like it to use my other foundation my summer shade to contour with because I do like how it hugged the angles of my face I will say I did like that but I I think I'm gonna have to try it with a different foundation because the Fenty dried down really really quick so that's the thing a, know your shade. <laughs> Cause, yeah. Fine Nation did me dirty. But, I mean, it's workable. Like, I just use my summer shade as a contour. Slash bronzer. We're good. Um, I love how my face looks. I love how my face looks. Um, I kind of actually, the next time I do my makeup, I want to mix it with the Morphe. Um, but you know, I do actually really like this. I like the formula. I like the overall appearance. I love how it worked with my dose of colors concealer. I love the finish with the halo setting powder. I don't have anything negative to say about anything in this box, honestly. Honestly. Like, and but I, I told y'all, like, when it comes to boxy luxe, like, it. It's hard to aggravate me with boxy looks. Um, just, oh, oh, I've never tried anything from Fenty I don't like. But yeah, I actually really like my foundation. <laughs> Even if, yeah, this video is like one big freaking blooper. <laughs> But I really do like the foundation itself, even though it made me look like Casper the Bitchy Ghost. 
for worst things in the world. All right, guys. Well, that is March Boxy Lux. And I ain't got a bad thing to say about it. So, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And starting Friday, I almost don't want to start the next story Friday so okay I'm gonna be real I'm not gonna start the next story Friday because the next story is Marie Laveau uh, and it is a two-part story and I don't want to start it on Friday and then not have the next part until Wednesday so what we're gonna do is I'm thinking of doing just like a fun little full face of makeup with boxy charm items or creating my own my like ideal product I don't know we'll do we'll do something fun okay we'll do something fun um I have a lot of ideas I just need to pick one uh but yeah so the Marie Laveau will kick off next week uh and then this Saturday we're talking about serums so this was the perfect time for this all right, I will see you guys Friday.